Just a quick reminder guys, this channel update is best enjoyed with headphones on. With all of this aside, please enjoy the video. What is the wrong response to Commander 1982 Predator of the Simple Gaming Reviews here? Coming here with a festive channel update, giving you guys the inside scoop on what's going on in the run up to the new year and winter 2024. Now, to start off, a health update if that's all right with you, Tails. Well, of course, fire away, James. Well, earlier on in the month, I've had been from an appointment with the neurosurgeon at the epilepsy clinic, and the results of this appointment was nothing but positive. In terms of my epilepsy, I'm in a very comfortable situation. Since I met with the neurosurgeon, which was about one year ago, I've had a total of one seizure, and that seizure was in April. Having only one seizure is nothing but a positive result. For an epilepsy sufferer, it is quite common, in some cases, inevitable for a seizure or two to slip through the cracks. This is because it is very easy for a person who is dependent on medication to miss a dose or two. After all, we are all human. And as I've said before, epilepsy is a condition that simply cannot be cured. So now I've had a, suffered a bit more seizures, like three or four in a year, and that was when alarm bells should be starting to ring. This might have meant that the medication that I would be taking would have been proven ineffective, therefore increasing medication or a new course of medication entirely may be required to take control of my condition. Again, I'm in a very comfortable position regarding the dosage levels. Although 400 milligrams a day may seem a little high, but it is the average dosage level for a person of my age. This medication also allows me to have a little headroom for potential dosage increases or additional stronger medication can be added to my dosages should my condition worsens again. That's a minute for my health update so let's go and move on to the review side of the channel. In terms of the reviews out of the channel, boy do we have a treat for you lot. If you've been paying attention to the Game Awards this year, Sega came out with a big announcement. They're bringing back a lot of old intellectual properties back from obscurity. They have officially announced the new iteration of Crazy Taxi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage and many more are in active development in Sega. So in short, after 16 years to hiatus, Sega is officially bringing back the big guns. To commemorate the occasion, our dedicated retro gaming series Retro OS has officially taken over Disabled Gaming Reviews this winter. So warm up yourself up with some retro classics as we party like it's 1999. After all, the series saw the anniversaries of a lot of groundbreaking, influential masterpieces of gaming history, for example, Last month saw the 25th anniversary of Valve's classic first-person shooter game Half-Life. This revolutionary shooter was originally released exclusively for the PC on the 19th of November 1988. Seriously, more Half-Life information coming in later on this channel update, so stay tuned. And this month is no exemption. Last week marked the 30th anniversary of one of the most recognizable, influential first-person shooters of our time, Doom. Released on the 10th of December 1983, the first person shooter game is so popular it can be run on practically everything. It can be run on fast food for terminals, ATMs, calculators, even pregnancy tests. This however does not mean that you can test whether or not your unborn child is demonically possessed. So in terms of the review lineup, we have absolutely bangers planned. These include Golden Axe for the Mega Drive, F-Zero GX for the GameCube, and the classic Tomb Raider series for the original PlayStation, Quake 2 and Raptor Call of the Shadows and Wacky Wheels to name a few. But in terms of week 1 reviews, we will be reviewing the 8th entry of Bandai Namco's classic fighting game series, Tekken. And on that note, that pretty much sums up of what's going on on the review side of the channel until spring 2024. Next up, it's over to my twin-tailed co-pilot from Miami, 
to give you guys an update on what's going on on the Let's Play side of the channel. Ok Tales, the floor is yours. Hey everyone, Miles says Burr, all the way from Kid Robot here, and assistant manager of DGR Plays, with the Let's Play update. Right, so let's start off with our current project, our Let's Play of Half-Life. Unfortunately, we had a setback. Here's exactly what we mean. Sadly, we had to change plan. Now, this is exactly what happened. Unfortunately, due to the game crashing numerous times with the final boss battle, we have decided to undergo an engine change. For a number of reasons, the majority of the Let's Play has been recorded with a fixed version of Half-Life Source. Turns out, the end of the game was a, still a buggy mess, so we had to switch to Plan B, to use the original Gold Source version for the last few chapters of the game. So during our playthrough, the chapters which took place with the Black Mesa Science Facility, the game did not crash. Not even once. So James and I agreed that it would be a lot easier for us to use the classic Gold Souls version of Half-Life as we go through the Zen chapters with the 25th anniversary update. So as this channel update has been posted, numerous videos on the channel will be deleted. That is the not in Kansas anymore. Regicide and I think the 25th anniversary special of Half-Life. So that way the story picks up shortly after Gordon Freeman escaped through the portal within the Lambda Complex to the Black Mesa Science Facility as Gordon ventures into the Border World Zen. Once Half-Life is finished, it will be a simple case of going straight into Half-Life 2 Episode 2. We are hoping to get this project kicked off in January or February 2024. Once that is finished, it will be time for something completely different. James over here will elaborate. It was a cold, crisp November morning. I walked into the shelter shop for my shift. The weather was sunny, but cold. When I arrived, it was time for me to take over the till to serve the customers until John arrived. Halfway through my shift, I received a Facebook message from my best friend, Andrew Open Rock Carpenter, asking me once again for a Let's Play The Matrix Inspired 2001 third person shooter, Max Payne. I haven't seen him since his wedding and back in August, so of course, I agreed. Yes, as I stated, we will be going through the original Max Payne, but the game itself was featured in the very first episode of Lumet Mike's Creepy Gaming, so obviously, this game is gonna turn dark as soon as the game started. And the rolling screen flashes in this game as Max takes painkillers to restore some of his health during a level. So therefore we urge you to watch these parts in a well lit environment. But then again after this, we finish this classic, it will be time for us to return to Black Mesa with the originally planned Dreamcast exclusive expansion pack to the original Half-Life Blue Shift. I've requested by the staff at Curry's Air. Alright everyone, this is more or less everything we want to cover in this channel update, so it's best for us to sign off. This is Sponsor Commander 1982 Better of Disabled Gamer Reviews, and Miles Desperro, Assistant Manager of DGR Plays, over and out.